Hey guys, what's up? I've got another tutorial to free guys today. Uh, another Red Hood armor. As you can tell, this one's a little bit more simple than the Arkham Knight base one that I did previously. This one I utilized the back side of the floor mat foam. The emblem is 4mm craft foam layered. Uh, I, unfortunately, I did not get footage of me actually building the chest at these angles. Uh, I'll also go over the belt a little bit and how I did that. And I also made a foam gun based off of this 3D printed one. You can tell there's some differences, some similarities. Uh, if you guys are interested in templates for the gun, let me know. I can have those available. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I'll go ahead and just describe how I did the chest. For the undercuts on it, like say here and here, so I got those angles. I just used my wood burner. And I burnt in the lines right there and right there. A V-groove undercut would work just as well. Um, I cut this line on this uh, the bottom line of the upper chest in an inward angle cut. The bottom line of this uh, bottom chest piece where it meets up with the ab piece is cut in an outward angle cut. That's what help gives it the uh, protrusion of the chest. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it on the chest. The center is just straight cuts. I beveled the chest piece or the emblem to kind of give the chest a little bit of a curved in look. For the straps, I've just used one inch elastic. One strap goes around the waist, just buckles in the back. And then for around the shoulders, it's more one inch elastic. Basically just goes around the shoulder. Uh, I did have buckles right here. So it helps keep it tight, but it's actually tight enough that I don't need to buckle these. And it's super easy to put on and take off. And that's all there is to it that quick. And then of course I did my usual weathering battle damage. So I've got videos on that as well. For the belt, it is a modified Dark Knight belt I got from eBay. All I did was paint it black, dry brush it with some silver. I lost a pouch right there. But for this emblem part, I uh, took some masking tape, covered up the this area, Trace that shape, and then I drew half of this bat emblem on the tape, cut it out, or drew it, put the tape on a piece of poster board, cut it out, and that's how I made my template with that. This is two millimeter craft foam, and then it's just another layer of two millimeter for the red underneath it for the bat. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually layered right there. And then for the gun holsters, this is just four millimeter craft foam. And I just made it into a simple box and had these come up. I had to use hot glue to hold onto the inside of the belt. Cause that was the best thing to get it to hold. And I also modified the back of the belt. So when I got it, it was just a Velcro strap. I didn't like that, so I took it off and made it adjustable with a buckle. Super easy. But yeah, and then with the uh, with the gun, 
This is the foam one. I just hand I, I traced the 3D printed one first for the outline, and then I just kind of guesstimated on the details on it's not that pretty, but it works. Uh, it's not I didn't I didn't film myself doing it or anything, but it's kind of an overview of it. Uh, right here in the upper part, because this is all actually one piece of two millimeter foam, but underneath it is four millimeter craft foam right here, from here all the way right there on both sides. Covered that with a two millimeter to help give it that uh, layered or that, that shape, the three dimensional shape. And right here, I placed two millimeter foam under underneath the initial layer of two millimeter. Of two millimeter. Uh, these are six millimeter pieces. Then I cut this one in an outward angle. This one. It's Cut that at an outward angle. Also cut this at an outward angle so that way you can see the uh, clear line right there. And this one, I beveled the edge of it, except for the top, top straight cut, and I just layered it over it. Uh, for the trigger guard, it is just a strip of six millimeter foam. I guesstimated on the length of that, just cut some off and put it against the gun until I found out what length I liked. Uh, trigger is just a piece of scrap 6mm foam. Uh, for the handle, I actually took a Dremel and I Dremeled in the finger grooves to make it a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, I took a Dremel for this part and just Dremeled that out. Same with this, I think a wood burner would actually work better for these lines, a little bit more controlled than a Dremel. Uh, these pieces up here are just little scrap triangle pieces of six millimeter, six millimeter foam that I used. So those will not actually be included on the templates. Uh, same with the trigger and this little, uh, and the trigger guard. They will not be included in the templates because it's just scrap foam. You find out which one works better for you. For the barrel, I just took my dermal and stuck it there. Centered as I could. And I didn't go very deep. Maybe, I don't know if you can tell how deep that is, it's not very deep at all. Just enough. Uh, I'd also for the, it's kind of important. The base of the gun is a one inch thickness uh, foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. That's what I used for the base and layered everything else on top of it. So it's, it's got some flex to it. It's pretty durable. Yeah. That's all there is for that. Hope that I hope that helped you guys. But uh, I'll get let's get on to actually building the chest piece or an ad piece now. Alright, for the ad pieces, uh, this is the backside of the foam. I wanted the texture uh, for the raised armor pieces. I originally did have these at full thickness but I felt like they were just too too thick for ad pieces I wanted them to lay a little bit thinner so what I've done is I got a dremel and I dremeled the back or the front whatever you want to call it of the ad pieces I'm keeping the texture to probably between four and five millimeters thick here is the original thickness and that's about how much I've Dremeled off. You guys can see the difference there. It's quite a bit. It took me about 35 minutes to Dremel all these pieces. And when you do that, you're left with these frayed edges because I had them cut at, a, at an outward angle cut and they're already pretty thin. So I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to basically cut off all the frays and make the edges a bit more uh, 
symmetrical and smooth. You don't want to cut, cut off very much, like just the little parts that are fraying. Make it look a little bit better. Okay, and next we're going to glue in on these little uh, side flat bills to the ab piece. Uh, this ab portion is the 4mm craft foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. I cut this line right here in an outward angle cut. And I also put some undercuts in the center of the chest right there. Which I just used my wood burner with uh, this tip on it right here. See that? And then just squeeze it together and it gives a nice little indent right there. And then we'll just be applying glue in this little area right here and stick it on there. We'll be using that little bit of contacts in that. Alright, now we've got the side pieces glued on there. Now it's time to start on the ad pieces. And I wanted to give out a shout out to uh, Colin Kelly from uh, the Becoming Batman group on Facebook. He's the one who suggested that I use a Dremel to sand down the back of these. Uh, it is very, very, very messy whenever you do it. So make sure you're outside or in a garage or somewhere where you don't mind getting a lot of foam dust and make sure you're wearing a respirator and safety glasses because you don't want to be inhaling this stuff. It can be dangerous. But we're going to go ahead and glue these on here using the contact cement and that's it. Alright, we've got the ad pieces glued on. It's all put together. I'm not going to dremel down the uh, seam lines of the chest like I normally do because I don't want to take away the pattern or yeah, take away the texture. I think it'll be fine. And now we're going to move on to the emblem, which I want to do in two parts. This is a four millimeter craft foam. I have cut an outward angle from this point all the way around to this point here. Whereas this very top part is just a straight cut. And this little piece right here goes behind it, uh, two millimeter foam. Straight cut all around except for the very bottom point here. I cut that at an outward angle. And I've got it marked center right there. So that way this way it goes toward the center of the emblem. And you just line it up behind it. And you'll glue it in place like that. All right, and here we've got the chest pieces, the emblem, all glued together. I'm gonna keep it in two parts and just glue it together on the actual chest. And now it's time to go ahead and plastic up all this stuff and get to painting. All right, guys, that does it for this video. I hope it was a huge help. Uh, I'm gonna try to have links to the templates down below. They'll be available on my Etsy shop. Uh, let me know if you guys want uh, templates for the guns because as of right now I'm kind of iffy on even releasing them because uh, I don't know if you guys even want them but let me know down below if you do and uh, you guys have a great one and don't forget there are no mistakes in cosplay only battle damage